Hey guys, just outside my field, and we are going toward the brook to see what kind of mushrooms we can find today. Maybe some wildlife along the way. So do you remember about last video where I was saying that the chanterelles like to keep their feet wet? They kind of like to grow along riverbeds or streams. So this here is the edge of the brook or stream, whatever the heck you guys want to call it. And I've noticed some chanterelles. So right here is a lonely chanterelle. But it only means that there are more. And I see some beautiful little mushrooms up here. They're grayish brown color. That's a cute little baby. Hi, guys. Hmm. Let's see, I'm peeking up out of the leaves here. Oh, there's a little one. We'll show you up close. He's so cute, isn't he? <laughs> All right. Wow, that's good that we've already found a couple of mushrooms. We just started, so that's a really good sign. I'm glad I did a part two because I had a feeling that we would be finding some really cool stuff today. Let's go see what else we can find. Let's get another type of Rasula here. It's got a, <clears throat> a more grayish colored cap. You can see the gills there. I really like Rasulas, they're cute. I just love looking at them. <laughs> and just saw some sign of coyote out here. You see that's a coyote dropping. I also know, like I said in the other video, that we do have bobcat out here, so I am aware. I'm not worried, I'm not scared, but I am aware. And I also know where the bobcat is denning in the area that they're denning, so that, uh, that's another thing. Just kind of probably stay away from that area <laughs> is a good idea. But he could be anywhere, and, you know, there's no level of precaution that I can take because it's a wild animal and they're unpredictable, so... I just need to be as safe as I can and as cautious as I can and hope for the best. It's quite a good deer trail through here. Not seeing too much mushrooms right here, so maybe we will step a couple feet into the woods. I have no idea what this one is. A lot of mushrooms out, but I just don't know what they are, which is so cool because I find that fascinating. It just gives me drive to want to learn more and to kind of explore them. Even more. Look at this little chunk of monk. Look at the puffball! A gem studded puffball. Oh, he's so cute. So you can see inside of that mushroom. That is in fact a lovely gem studded puffball. Whoa, get back here, little buddy. That looks like lovely eats. If I do say so myself, and I don't like mushrooms very much, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Look at this almost camouflaged guy. What are you? You're quite interesting. It's a bleat type mushroom. Very interesting. We'll be taking him home for a spore print. Here, I'm trying to take your picture. Thank you. All right, so the brook is right down here, and now we're getting into some deadly mushrooms. Oh, 
quite a deadly one. Let's see if I can get a stick with some substance here. <laughs> oh, there we are. All right, let's show you this bad boy. <laughs> or girl, if you will. Look at the slug. <laughs> He's gone through the veil. That's funny. So, just the cat from this mushroom will actually kill a human being within two days. There's another small one peeking up way up here. Um, it is okay if you are to touch it. However, I don't want to risk it, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to touch it with my bare hands. Um, but yeah, so stay away from that one. Right close by is a Rasula. See another type of Amanita. Where'd you go, little buddy? Oh, there it is. Got a little yellow one poking up here. I'm seeing what looks to be a coral fungus, but possibly not. This one's different. Um, it looks like the coral, but just a little bit different. Not quite sure what that one is. Not quite sure what a lot of these are, but like I said, that is the fun of it. Something new to learn. Boy, the deer are going to thank me this morning. I think I've gone through every spider web that's out in these woods. <laughs> Beautiful Rasula. Usually they'll turn into crap by this time. This one is absolutely beautiful. It's almost the color of the leaves. It's beautiful. And the belief. Poking up out of here. Come here, little buddy. Let us see what you are. Lovely baby. Let's keep going down this deer trail. Sorry, guys. I like to. I don't like to. I just do it by habit, I guess go off into different accents sometimes, so <laughs> I apologize if it's throwing any of you off. You can definitely see that the deer have been through, well I hope you can see, because there are so many small saplings and shoots, and they're all chewed off on the tips. So you can see that the deer come out here and nibble on those quite frequently. I just saw the hugest mushroom cap, and <laughs> it looks like it's been kicked over by a deer. Look at this thing. Look at it. It's huge. I don't want to touch it. It's gross, but... <laughs> Look at the stock on that thing. Bam! <laughs> huge. We're getting kind of into the thick area, so I may or may not be able to keep going, but we'll see how far I can venture. Fresh deer tracks here in the mud on a very well worn trail, and I had just passed some fresh droppings, so they've definitely been through here this morning. So you can see the difference in the color of the leaves where this right here is wet or darker looking, and then over here, well, right here is where the footprint. 
footprint is from the deer. You can see in the mud. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. But so you can tell they were walking through this area. If you learn how to read that, um, it's really fun to kind of walk around on the trails. Just keep a sense of your direction and where you're going because it's easy to get lost out here following deer trails. But it's also really fun. So you see one nice good track here. And then there's another nice track right here. You can see their hoofs scraping along the mud. And then they're just walking up through this trail. And we could possibly be following them and possibly... Um, I don't think my camera will pick them up because I can't zoom very well with this, but I, I'm sure I will see them out here. So I just scared a partridge, um, or grouse. Uh, people call them different things. I've always called them a partridge, but spruce, grouse, grouse, I don't really know. Honestly, I'm not a bird person. <laughs> All right, so this is another telltale sign that we're on the right track. This is fresh from this morning. And you can also see some of the tracks from the deer. So we're still on his trail. I, with my trained eye, can see right through here and see where he's been going. However, it could be difficult for someone who has not ever done tracking before. But basically, I'm going to stay right on his trail. And I'm going to hope that this leads me out into the pines where it opens up. Um, if I can get through that far, that'll be awesome.